What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We got some awesome, awesome breaking haunt news that actually was announced uh I think about a week or two ago, uh, and I decided I wanted to make a video on this because I think this is awesome, and, and if we start seeing more things like this throughout the year, this, this could be game-changing for the haunt industry. Six Flags Magic Mountain here in California has announced they will be doing something called Scream Break. From select nights from March 18th all the way to April 16th, you will see Six Flags Magic Mountain turn into... Basically, Fright Fest for a few hours. Uh, from 9 p.m. to midnight will be those witching hours in which it goes from uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain to Scream Break, which is their take on Spring Break. Um, it's, it'll, it'll be Friday through Sundays from March 18th all the way to April 16th. Um, and I think this looks this looks awesome. This is this is really cool. So with this um, is going to be, I think uh, uh, you're going to get a few mazes. Um, to go through you'll have a few haunted attractions encounter garish ghouls with exclusive access to two haunted mazes near full throttle plus three chilling scare zones all with a spring break twist so that's going to be a lot of fun you're going to actually go, go through two of the mazes they have on top of three scare zones so in a way it's like a mini haunt which i think is really cool and really fun i think i'm, I'm really i really want to go out and check this out um what about coasters in the dark this is a fun one for all you uh your thrill seekers out there scream your head off on some of the most iconic world-class roller coasters including the new wonder woman flight of courage full throttle goliath batman the ride twisted colossus and scream uh that's gonna be cool all your favorite rides uh your favorite roller coasters in the dark no lights like that makes it even scarier I'm all for that. You have some devilish treats that are going to be uh, exclusive to the event. Uh, satisfy your taste buds with foodie favorites or sink your teeth in uh, devilish drinks like a sangria, blood bag, uh, and more during uh, our haunted cocktail hour. So uh, specialty drinks will be offered for this. Uh, specialty uh, snacks and whatnot will be offered for this exclusively just for this event. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Can't wait to see what they do with that. And last but not least, the Dead Man's Party, which is joined the Dead Man's Party and Dance the Night Away with two DJs playing the hottest hits in DC Universe and the Full Throttle Plaza. So that's gonna be cool. They're gonna have two DJs with different set times. You can go see that if you guys just wanna go hang out with your friends and go dance and whatnot. That could be a lot of fun for you. Uh, a couple things you should know before you go. Uh, due to the maintenance and other circumstances, including weather, some rides and attractions, including new rides may be temporary, temporarily un uh, unavailable. All experiences are subject to change without notice. So if there's stuff under construction or if, if the weather calls for it, uh, some rides may not be open, some attractions may not be open. So do keep in mind, maybe check the weather before you go. Um, something that uh, we always do here at the Knights of Horror is look at the weather during haunt season and dress accordingly and whatnot. So uh, of course, before you buy your ticket, it's uh, plan accordingly if you guys can get your hands on the weather ahead of time uh, as to what it might predicting it might be especially if you live in California lately weather's been really really strange but um, nonetheless check the weather dress accordingly and uh, make sure you are able to do what you want to do when you buy the ticket uh, season passes and memberships are not valid for this event. All guests must purchase an event-specific ticket for admission. So this is a separate ticket event. So you will have to buy uh, tickets. And there are two options we're going to go over. That's going to be the last thing we go over after the no before you go. But yeah, there are. this is a separate ticketed event um, from 9 p.m. to 12 uh, at midnight. Uh, so this will be uh, stuff that you have to pay for separately. Uh, no costumes or masks are permitted. Of course, that's 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 standard for any haunt you go to. You know, you're going there to be entertained, not to be part of the show. If you wanted to be part of the show, you could always try out for said haunts. Uh, but you're you're paying to go get entertained. So uh, obviously, you know, don't bring a costume or anything to try to be part of the show. If you really want to work there at the age of 18. Um, I highly suggest it. I, from what I've been told from many people, it's a lot of fun, it's, and it's a dream job of theirs. Uh, and the final one, no props, uh, accessories, or any related items are per, uh, permitted. So, you know, obviously the standard of not bringing in, you know, weapons or anything, that still applies and everything. And, and just play it safe. Just have fun. Have a good time. Uh, don't touch the actors uh, unless you are given the okay to take a picture with them or something. But... Don't bug them, you know, don't, like, you know, touch them, don't, don't fight them, just have a good time. If they interact with you, interact with them, or if you see an opportunity for some fun interaction, go for it, but 
be respectful because these people are human too. So yeah, let's talk about one of the last things that uh, you, you probably really want to know is how much this is all going to cost. So if you want to go one of the single nights of missions, which is like I said, March 18th all the way to April 16th, those weekends in between. Um, for a single night admission, it's going to start at $39.99. A mission uh, valid started at 7.30 p.m., so you can get to the park as early as 7.30 p.m. to catch the... Uh, they usually have an opening ceremony, uh, at least for Fright Fest they do. I don't know if they're going to do anything for Scream Break, but um, they usually have an opening ceremony, and it kind of gives you an opportunity to get in and kind of get where you need to go before the event actually officially starts. Or if you guys live in the area or you guys are just Haunt fans or you guys love Six Flags, they have a 14-night Extreme Scream Break Pass, which is unlimited access to the entire event all 14 nights that it's available and that's going for $159.99 uh, this one comes with after hours admission from 9 p.m. to midnight complimentary parking after 7 30 p.m. unlimited access to two terrifying haunted houses unlimited access to uh, three spine tingling scare zones unlimited right access to some of your favorite attractions um, and of course with the single night one you get a uh, after hours admission from 9 p.m. to midnight uh, unlimited access to two terrifying haunted houses unlimited access to three Three spine tingling scare zones and unlimited ride access to some of your favorite attractions. Also, you get the valid admission at 7:30 p.m. So, I mean, there's a lot to, to look at here. I mean, this is exciting, honestly, for the haunt world. Um, this is a, such a great idea to kind of do in, in a way where, where some haunts other do this too. Is the kind of um, the, the halfway to Halloween kind of excitement? I know Rain of Terror is huge on doing an event about halfway to Halloween. Uh, and that's such a fun event. I think for all of us Haunt enthusiasts, we all go out to Thousand Oaks, go through that. Now we have multiple weekends to check out Scream Break for all of us Haunt fans out there to see what they bring to the table for this new kind of springtime Haunt event. I'm super looking forward to this. This is going to give us something to do and, and something to take you guys on a journey with to show you what they have to offer for this. Um, and I can't wait to see Six Flags for us last uh, year in, in 2022. Such a phenomenal year. Uh, we had a great time. That was our second year going. Um, so thank you, Six Flags, for having us out for that. That was awesome. Uh, and um, hopes to see we can uh, get out here to, to check this out because I'm super stoked and I, and I I can't wait to see what they have to offer. But with all that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button because uh, it really helps us out around here to uh, push the videos out to other Haunt fans and whatnot. And leave some comments down below. What do you guys think of Six Flags' Scream Break idea? Is it a really good idea or is it not going to be a good idea? Let me know. I think it's going to be a great idea. Uh, also... Hit the subscribe button with the bell notification to be aware every time we put up a new video. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers, and you guys are such an amazing fan base. I love you guys. I love each and every one of you. Uh, no matter your, your race, gender, uh, what you identify as, I love you all for who you are. So I uh, thank you for your constant, continuous support, and uh, we love all, each and every one of you equally. Uh, with all that being said, obviously follow us on social media as well at the Knights of Horror on TikTok and Instagram and at Knights of Horror on Twitter. Knights of Horror Gaming on Twitch. If nothing else more, my name is Anthony. You're watching Knights of Horror, and I'll see you guys next week for another video.